Welcome everyone. My name is Jason. I'm the co-founder and CEO of 33 Sticks. And today I'm going to walk you through how to use the YouTube player extension within Adobe Launch to dynamically inject YouTube content into your website. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the extension installed. Now I've already installed the extension. You can see the YouTube player embed is already in my installed list. But if you haven't installed it, you can click over to the extension catalog and select it from the list and install it. And that's all you need to do to get the extension ready and available for use. Now all of the configuration will be done at the rule level. So for this example, we're going to use the 33 sticks homepage and I'm going to create a secret welcome message um, that I inject into the page for people that have welcome equals secret uh, in the query string of the URL. So the first thing we will do is create a new rule and I've already started to build one out called YouTube hero. And I don't have anything defined here, so let's walk through how we will define that. So the first thing that we need is an event. We need to figure out when we want this rule to fire. Um, so I'm gonna use the core extension. Now the core extension comes pre-installed with Adobe Launch, and it contains all of the different things that you would want to attach to from an event standpoint and, and key configuration components for Adobe Launch. Uh, and this may look familiar to you. Uh, you'll see all of your event-based triggers, you'll see your page load triggers um, that you might be used to uh, using Adobe DTM. So I'm gonna go ahead and select page bottom and I will accept that change. And now we need to add some conditions. So when do we want this rule to fire? Um, so if you remember, I suggested we want to fire this on a query string parameter. So I will select the query string parameter condition type, and then I will add the name of welcome and the parameter value of secret. And I will keep those changes. And now we need to add uh, an action. And our action will be injecting the YouTube video into the, the page. So here I'm gonna change the extension from the core extension, and I'm gonna use the YouTube player embed extension that we talked about at the beginning of the video. And our action type is add player. Now I want to play a video and I already have a video queued up that I wanna play, so I will just supply the ID here, but notice you can attach this to a data element, which makes this very interesting in that you can create a data element that dynamically builds out your video ID based on maybe a value from your data layer or another custom script, so you can start to build very dynamic injection of YouTube content using a single rule. But for this example, we'll go ahead and just hard code that value. I also want to embed it on the, uh, the hero slot of the site. And so I know that there's a CSS selector for that hero slide that I can attach to. And then there's various other parameters, the size, how you want the player to operate. And if you want the video to start or stop within a certain time range, you can set all of those here, either hard coded or as you notice, dynamically by attaching it to a data layer, or excuse me, to a data element. So all of this can be very dynamically generated. Uh, so we'll go ahead and leave that for now and keep the changes. Now let's just review the rule. So we have a rule called YouTube Hero. It's set to fire at the bottom of the page when we have a query string parameter available um, that is welcome equals secret. And our action is going to be uh, that we're going to embed a player and we supplied all the details within the configuration of that action. So we will go ahead and save the rule. And now let's go over to our website and load the page. And let's see if we get the uh, video injected into the page. And we didn't. So we need to go back to launch. We're missing a very important step. We did not publish our changes. Now, the publishing flow is a bit different. Uh, from what you might be used to in Adobe DTM, um, but it's very powerful. I've cleared out my publishing queue just for simplicity so we can walk through it end to end how we can get this change um, into our library so we can see if our YouTube uh, video is being injected as we expected. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a library. So I'm just going to call this my, my YouTube hero library 
and I'm going to attach it to my development environment so I can quickly see my change without going through a full set of approvals. And now I need to add some changes. So what do I want to include in this library uh, that I want to push to my development site? Well, we need a few things. So the first thing we need is we need the core extension that really powers launch. And if we click on extension, we see it's not available. That's because we haven't made any changes to it. But if I toggle over to all, I can now go to core and I can select the latest revision of that extension. Um, we also need to make sure that we have our YouTube extension in there. So again, I'm going to click all and I'm going to find my YouTube player embed and I'm going to select it and include it. And then finally, we're going to select our rule. So we cr created the uh, YouTube hero rule and we'll get the latest version there and select that as well. Now, if you look at our library, we, we're going to create a brand new library that is going to have three changes. It's going to have the core launch extension. It's going to have the custom YouTube player embed extension. And it's going to have this rule that we just created that injects our welcome message into the page. So we're going to keep all of those changes in our library and we're going to hit head and click save. And now we've built a library that has all of our, our changes available. However, we're qu not quite ready to test yet. You can see this yellow status indicator. We haven't actually built the library for our environment. So from the dropdown, we need to select build for development. And this will kick off a process that will build this library and push it to our site. And now that we have the green indicator, it's, it's saying that we have successfully built our library. Um, if this goes red, it uh, indicates there's an error and you can click into the library to see what specific error was generated. But we've got a green status. So we should now be able to go over to our website, load the website with our welcome equals secret query string parameter. And there we go. So now we've injected this video dynamically uh, using Adobe Launch. Um, if you have any questions, please shout out on Twitter at USU Jason or send me uh, an email, jason at 33sticks.com, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you might have.